Hey there guys, Colin from Trail Trash ADV. Today we are doing another unboxing video. There's some motorcycle gear in here. So, as you know, we're not really sponsored by anybody. I told them we give unbiased, real-world reviews. We wanna make sure we're keeping our integrity and giving you guys an honest opinion. You can trust me, I'm a professional. That's pretty cringy. I sent Griffin Motorcycle Gear my sizes and they sent me a box of goodies. They make 17 different types of jackets, four different types of pants, and 12 different types of gloves. I've got no idea what's in here. Oh, really excited to open this up. Let's see what's inside. Oh my God, this is really dull. Was that cringy to watch me using that knife? I bet that was scary. Next time, no machete. Regular knife would be fine. What is this? Is it just paper? It's just paper, okay. Paper, fabulous. So, they sent the Vancouver jacket, the Indy pant, and the Cabot waterproof glove, which is perfect. It goes along well with our Cabot Trail dual sport and adventure motorcycle guy coming when I get around to it. So, fit is North American sizing, okay? There's a size chart. I follow the size chart exactly. I even had Molly, who's behind the camera, size me up. Yeah, it is a little snugger than I thought, but it's not too snug. Uh, but these are CE level one, they're waterproof, they're leather. No anakin! This is a heavy duty glove. Uh, this is all armored here. Um, yeah, I mean, it's a glove. It's a very I, first impression value for money glove. I mean, look at that stitching. Like, that's just nice. Oh yeah. <sighs> Breathable waterproof Hippora glove insert. It's like Gore-Tex. It's like Gore-Tex. Uh, but without actually being Gore-Tex, which, you know, uh, whatever. Made of goat hide, leather goat hide, uh, that Hippora waterproof membrane like Gore-Tex. There's a short cuff. Apparently they're touchscreen compatible. There's a palm slider plate right there. And they are CE level one approved. Gloves, bam. Pants, bam. Indie pants. Griffin men, indie. Hands. Beautiful. Black. Love it. Waterproof odor shell. Anti. No. Yeah. Not anti ballistic nylon. Anti abrasive ballistic nylon. That's what this is made of. Anti abrasive ballistic nylon. Say that five times fast. Let me get this in front of the camera here for you. So, one thing I gotta say I do enjoy thus far far is it's not in your face with the logo. You know, there's just a little logo here on the zipper and on some of the tabs. Very subtle. I find some companies like Climb and First Gear, it's like, oh my God, look at me, I got a Climb pant. Ugh, so cool. Waterproof odor shell. There's another breathable waterproof membrane in this, uh, similar to Gore-Tex. This one is RESA, R-E-I-S-S-A, -S waterproof breathable membrane system. Ergonomically shaped knees, stretch accordion panels here. You've got some in the back as well for you know people like me with a fat bum. We've got lots of pockets. This is a waterproof pocket, totally waterproof. This is, what's another pocket? Wait, which is the air intake? Uh, I'm so confused. I just figured it out if Molly will go down here a little bit. We'll go right here. So, you see how this fence is this mesh and this fence is all sealed. So this unzips, there's Velcro here and Velcro here. And then this will actually totally zip off, right? So totally free. This then folds in here 
and then you zipper the vent open while everything else is tucked away. Really intelligent design. Um, that's just slick, I don't know what else to say. Large pockets, Velcro, you know, they do fold over. I suspect those would be quite waterproof. There is some CE knee armor. On the inside of the pant, there's a thermal liner right now. Very similar to the first gear cap man do. So you've got that thermal liner, liner. And then if you take that out, it's this mesh stuff underneath, right? So thermal liner zips out mesh. Now it's on to the big bad Vancouver jacket. This is a big bad jacket. Like, I could get a workout lifting this thing. There, all the crinklies are out of the way. Okay, so first things first, this thing is, no, I was like, this thing's armored to the max. No, there's a coat hanger in there. <laughs> this is like heavy duty stuff. No, it's a coat hanger. All right, as you can see, there is this lovely neck gaiter, which actually looks to be functional um, and zips right off actually, so that's great. So in the winter, if you're trying to protect your neck and you don't want to use something like First Gear Kathmandu's head condom, you can actually have something a little more styling. Again, waterproof liner, okay? It's <laughs> Velcro, button, Velcro, 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 buttons. This thing's not gonna open up on you on the road. So inside the Vancouver jacket, you can see there's these little elastic straps here, okay? Um, one concern I have just about this, this is just first impressions, is I think somebody like me, who's maybe a little more uh, spirited with the way they use their gear, may end up tearing those off relatively quick. Inside the actual Vancouver jacket is this puffer jacket, and it's really nice, actually. I wish you could just feel this. This is like a comfy jacket. And you can wear this outside of motorcycling and not look like you're out motorcycling, if that's something you're into. But I digress. It's got a mesh liner. It's got a foam pocket over here, waterproof. So there's a little indicator for key, okay? And this is this is something that I'm, I'm actually a huge fan of. Uh, I didn't know this was here. So little key icon, and then inside your phone zipper pocket, which is waterproof, you can actually clip your keys to this little lanyard so you can't lose them. It's the little things, right? We got another phone pocket down here, like most jackets have, nothing special with that. On the bottom of the jacket, you do have the little zip piece that you can connect to the pants, okay? Which is always appreciated. The puffer jacket. It's actually really nice. I'd wear this to town. This is, yeah, this is, this is actually a really nice hiking jacket. You know what I mean? Like, like, I like this. Like, good job. Like, aesthetically pleasing. Back onto the jacket jacket. You got the back padding, uh, which is great because even similarly priced first gear cap man do does not come with a CE level back protector in it. We've already gone over some of the pockets on the inside. What do you think? Better than me just put this on? Around the back here as well. Yeah, see, even I can figure this out. If I can do it, you can do it at home too. Mesh air vents. Mesh air vents. These pockets, but these, eh. oh, they Velcro and they zipper. Double protection. Jeff will hose me with a friggin' pressure washer, I'm sure to test this out. But those are waterproof. Not quite as much storage down here in these pockets as I'd expect there to be, but I think that's more than made up for. Pretty sure there's, are there under, are there armpit vents? No, there aren't. Oh, no armpit vents. That's upsetting. What am I supposed to do when my armpits get too hot? What they do have that my current jacket, first gear Kathmandu, do, and I keep drawing that comparison, they have this opening, and that is mesh air intake. So anytime you see this black mesh that doesn't look like it will provide airflow, it does provide airflow. We've got these cinch straps to adjust for my huge biceps. Oh, sorry. I'm just Oh. What'd you say? Did you say you needed something over that way? That, 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 that way? That way. What was it? Okay. For, yeah, elbow and forearm protection. One sec. Shoulders. There is 
some sizable protection in this. You know, I'd be comfortable going out and thrashing on the trails with the V-Strong with this on. I'd feel well protected. I think I've said this four or five times, but you put this thing on or grab it in your hands, like it's a heavy jacket. There's, there's a lot of weight to this, but I'm okay with that. So uh, we'll get me all dressed up. Maybe we'll put the camera in time-lapse mode and uh, have somebody call and ruin this final bit of the video. Um, one sec, I'll call you back, Dad. I love you. We'll start the pants. I feel like I have a good amount of flex in them. I can bend down and do the attack position. I can bend over and get stuff. I really appreciate accordion stretch panels on the knees and in the lower back. The high vis reflective, it's not in your face, but it's there. The vents, I think that's a really intelligent system, the way they open and close. As far as the jacket goes, there are pockets, Velcro as well as zipper, but they're not as big as you'd expect them to be. Neck gaiter, really appreciate. And then there's just the general styling of it, I think is, is really nice. I keep forgetting things. There's so many little features on this jacket, I can't cover them all. <gasps> There's another air vent. Simple air vent. I just didn't realize it was there. Shoulders. Any air vents in the back there, Molly? Uh, yeah. You got a fanny pack. I got a fanny pack? Yeah. In the back? Yeah. Oh, beautiful. Fanny pack. I, I, I don't know what you put in it, but it's there, so. Feels really nice. Here, stick your stick your hand in there, sweetie. <laughs> stick your dainty little hand. In there. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, right. It's like fleece so, line. Yeah. So there's a fleece line pocket. Doesn't zipper up. Just open all the time. You can slide your hand in anytime you want. I'm really impressed with the quality of the, this gear. I, I really am. For a company that I've never heard of, I think that the quality definitely feels like it's there. Now. Stay tuned, as you guys know, we do lots of ride videos and crash and all kinds of stuff that most other folks don't really get to expose their motorcycle gear to. So this will get put through the ringer, this will get a good test, and we'll come back to you folks with a review of that in the coming months. Big thank you to Gary and Jenny from Griffin Motorcycle Gear for sponsoring this video. If you like this type of content, please consider liking and subscribing, and we will see you out in the trails.